Here I have with me a Yeti tumbler. This is the low ball or the smallest tumbler. And these work really well to keep beverages cool or hot for extremely long periods of time. In fact, the Yeti tumblers can keep ice for up to 24 hours in a metal cup. So how exactly do Yeti tumblers keep your beverages cold or keep your beverages hot? That's what we're gonna answer in today's episode. Hey, I'm Ryan from thecoolerbox.com and I purchased this tumbler about three years ago. I used to have a larger one, but it got lost in the move. I do still have my Arctic tumbler here, which uses the same technology and works in the same way. So what we're gonna do in this episode is go in depth in exactly how these work to keep heat out or to keep temperature out or to keep temperature in the tumbler because it's actually very, very fascinating. So in this tumbler, while it just looks like a metal cup, it's actually got an inner wall and it has an outer wall and there's actually a gap in between there. And now in between that gap is a vacuum. So they suck all of the air out of that. So there's basically nothing in there or as close to nothing as they can get. Now what that means is there's different ways that heat is transferred from the outside air to the inside of your cooler or of your tumbler, sorry. Or if you've got a hot beverage, then it's coming from the inside of your tumbler to the outside. So you've got conduction, which is the movement of heat from one object touching another. And so that's the external heat from the air or from the sun moving through the cup. Uh, you've got convection where air currents might move heat around or water can have currents as well and then you've got radiation. And this actually effectively stops all three of them or minimizes them as much as possible. So we're getting a bit technical here, but conduction actually needs particles for heat to move through. And so because there's a vacuum and because there's nothingness in between these two walls, there's actually no way for heat to pass through in conduction. In fact, the only way for it to do that is to actually hit the cup and actually pass through at the top here where the inner wall and the outer wall is connected. So at the bottom, the bottom isn't connected to the bottom here. There's actually a vacuum between the bottom. So the only connecting point is the top up here. And so it would need to move from there all the way up and all the way in. And that just doesn't really happen. And that's another reason they're made out of stainless steel because stainless steel is a terrible conductor of heat. So it's an insulating material, which means the heat is unlikely to move from the outside up and around and in. So that is how it reduces conduction. Convection as well is the movement of particles. So let's say you make a really, like in the bath, right? You make a really hot pocket of water by turning the tap on hot and you push it around and you push the hot water from one side to another, that's convection. And so when you have a vacuum, there's nothing to move around. So convection doesn't happen. And then the last one is radiation. So the sun's rays, obviously they travel through space, which is a vacuum and they still heat up the earth. So there is radiation always happening and going through the vacuum. So even though it's a vacuum in this, doesn't protect it against radiation. But what actually happens, and I'm going to show you another video that someone else has done where they've actually cut this open. Really amazing video and I'll link up to it down below. You can see that the interior is actually copper plated or there's copper on the outside of it. So copper is a great reflector of radiation. And so having that copper lining actually reflects the radiation trying to get in. So as you can see, these work by stopping the three ways that heat are transferred. Stainless steel, terrible conductor of heat, so that's helping as well. And then the copper cladding is keeping out the radiation. So it's a really cool piece of technology. You wouldn't think that a metal cup could work so well. It's really interesting why they haven't made coolers the same. Like, why don't they have stainless steel vacuum sealed coolers? That would be a really interesting thing. Maybe they just dent too much and you can make smaller objects out of them, but you can't make the bigger objects. I'm not exactly sure, but definitely in the tumblers, they work really well. Uh, this low ball, I've lost the lid for it. 
but the only way for heat to get in is actually through the top. And this is an Arctic, but Yeti is pretty much the same and they have a plastic lid on the top. And again, plastic is an insulator. It doesn't allow heat through quite easily. You can see these have a hole in them for drinking out of and there's a hole at the top. So obviously some heat and airflow can come in through the top. The newer Yeti ones have a magnetic slide so you can close it shut but it's still a great insulator and will still keep it cold as well. So the full cup is acting as an insulator. The top and the plastic is acting as a bit of an insulator as well. And that's what allows these to work so well and to keep ice for so long. So very simple technology, but very interesting technology. And so I hope that this has been exciting to learn about. I hope that it's made sense. I had a lot of fun learning about how these actually work really really cool if you're interested in purchasing one of these cups then i will link up to the main sizes down below you can go ahead and check them out on amazon that is my affiliate link so if you go through that and end up purchasing one i do get a small commission which helps the channel so thanks for everyone who does that but yeah i love these cups i use it every single week and i've been using it for years uh, it's great for me i make tea in it and i take a long time to drink my tea and usually in a normal cup, my tea gets really cold really quickly and I'm drinking cold tea and no one really wants to drink cold tea unless you're having iced tea. And, but if I make it in here, it's not as pretty of a tea cup, but it definitely keeps it warm up for a lot longer. Thank you, Yeti. Thank you to this cool technology that is the stainless steel vacuum tumbler. Go ahead, grab yours today if you want to, or go to thecoolerbox.com to look at more reviews of tumblers and coolers. That's it from me. Until next time, stay cool.